Hello everyone, my name is Janae and today we will be looking at how classical music is an inspiration for popular forms of music that we enjoy today by examining the connection between Richard Wagner and Star Wars composer John Williams. Through this video you will see how Wagner and Williams are closer than you think. So let's start by looking at classical music and really the perspective of it from the outside looking in. If we think about classical music, the first thought that may come to mind is the incredible playing, an appearance of prestige, or even seeing it as an elite art form. In the article entitled, Listen to This, Crossing the Border from Classical to Pop by Alex Ross, he discusses the overwhelming reputation that classical music may face today, which is described as high society, antiquated, a sense of elitism, or even pretentiousness. From the outside looking in, in Alex Ross's essay, it describes that the name alone, classical music, seems to be founded on things of the past. It has become a tool of intellectual superiority rather than being upheld by the love of the music. It memorializes and places the composers of the past on a pedestal, and as Ross implies, it leaves little room for the Beethovens of today. Unfortunately, classical music carries the reputation of exclusiveness. The American classical audience is assumed to be, as Ross bluntly puts it, of the old, the white, the rich, and the bored. Even though the emerging composers of today can be found from China, Estonia, Queens, and even Argentina. So what does this mean? Well, the effects of classical music and its stereotypes means the art form is becoming, as we said, memorialized. It is now being centered around the composers of the past rather than finding new ones of the future. It's difficult to attract new and younger listeners. It's becoming less about the music. So with these stereotypes, it's easier for new classical listeners to feel like the music is from another world. It seems distant of the past, antiquated, theory and analysis driven, and even exclusive. Okay, so we understand the possible perspective of classical music for a new listener. So let's look at a specific example of a classical composer, Richard Wagner. To an outsider, he would seem to fall right into the idea of classical music being an elite art form. Richard Wagner is regarded as a key to the history of classical music and the history of music overall. He is a German composer that is recognized as altering the course of music history after the 19th century. He is even credited with paving the way for Schoenberg's atonality compositions in the 20th century. And let's define atonality. It is when there's a lack of tonal center or key it's when you don't feel a strong resolution to a certain pitch, or it may feel unpredictable where the music goes. So let's look further into Wagner's legacy. His work is described as using dense textures and harmonies, which is the layering of musical notes. His works are still taught in school today as canonical or accepted pieces of music through theory analysis, which plays into the idea of classical music being more about an intellectual tool rather than the love of the music. Overall, he has revolutionized opera specifically by embracing the idea of all or many art forms in the piece. This is known as the coined term, total work of art. Within Wagner's music, he is also known to use advanced musical language and musical themes called leitmotifs, which we will discuss later. So looking at his legacy, we can say that Wagner has a role in the stereotype of classical music. It's easy to say he is definitely a part of the elite art form of classical music, as well as the fact that he is still taught in schools today. Okay, so you're probably wondering, based on the title, well, what is the connection between Richard Wagner and John Williams? And you probably wouldn't guess that the connection is found in Star Wars. John Williams is a modern day American composer. He's regarded as one of the greatest composers of all time. 
and one of his most famous roles in gig is composing for Star Wars. I mean, everyone loves Star Wars, right? Well, interestingly enough, the connection between Star Wars and the German composer Richard Wagner is not as far-fetched as you think. Actually, the common link is in John Williams' composition for the Star Wars films. So let's look a little more into Star Wars. It was first introduced in 1977. The film Star Wars The Force Awakens is known as grossing as the fourth highest at about $936 million. You can find Star Wars in comics, films, television shows, video games, toys, and even theme park attractions. Its music is a part of extensive playlists all over the internet, as well as covers and videos of the music. So it's easy to say Star Wars is an integral part of the culture of American film. So at first glance, it may seem like we have a famously known composer of the past and a famously known composer of today but they are connected. The connection is Wagner's work is an inspiration for John Williams' music in Star Wars. You can find the common link specifically by looking at Wagner's composition, Ring Cycle. Ring Cycle is a cycle of four music dramas. The music in the cycle is densely textured, which as we said, is a rich layering of notes. It takes about 15 hours to perform in total. And within Wagner's work, he uses light motifs or repeating thematic ideas to associate a character, action, feeling, or subject said in a text or shown on stage. Light motifs are designed to help the audience recall a theme or enforce an emotion. So just a definition of a light motif. It's a short and repeating musical phrase. The leitmotif are correlated with a specific person, place, or idea in the piece. So it's similar to a theme or thematic idea. So let's look at John Williams' Star Wars compositions to see how they are connected. William uses Wagner's idea of leitmotifs. He uses distinct musical themes associated to the major characters as well as reference the plot, define a moment, and create connections in the film for his audience. The main example we're going to look at today is the Princess Leia theme. The music for Princess Leia is a thematic device and shows her development as a character. The leitmotif appears in the 1977 Star Wars film A New Hope when Princess Leia is shown as a young girl needing help. It is reinvented as she grows up and explores love and reintroduced in flashbacks of her infancy in later films. William uses a specific musical theme for Leia to connect her character to the idea of vulnerability. Now let's take a listen to the Princess Leia theme. But William doesn't stop there. He uses Wagner's idea of leitmotifs throughout his compositions within Star Wars. You can find it in Yoda's theme as the Jedi Master. The Emperor has its own theme as an evil character. Luke has a specific theme as a main character of Star Wars, the Star Wars theme. There are musical themes to symbolize the concept of the Force, as well as conveying the feeling of courage. So let's summarize the connection between Richard Wagner and John Williams. We began talking about the stereotypes of classical music. To a new listener, 
this art form may seem distant of the past, antiquated, only about theory and analysis, and may be exclusive. Then we introduce Richard Wagner, whose musical career may perpetuate this stereotype to a new listener of classical music. And then we explored how Star Wars is a popular American film with widely known and loved music. Its composer is John Williams, who has been heavily influenced by Wagner's work, specifically looking at light motifs. Through their connection, it demonstrates that classical music is actually the inspiration for popular forms of music that we enjoy today. Classical music, whether we realize it or not, is a part of our world today. In films we love, in movies we go to see, in TV shows that bring back nostalgia. The art form is not necessarily stuck in the past as we think, but it serves as a template for today's composers to use to evolve and reinvent the music if we allow it.